Hi guys, Liam here from Pink Tech Tips. Today we're going to be having a look at Delphi XE and in particular repeat slash iteration loops. So go ahead, open up Delphi and create a new console application. Okay, so we're going to get rid of this um, default code here. And we're going to start off at the very beginning by creating a variable called quit which is an integer and then we want to go down to the beginning and we want to say that quit current equals zero at the very very beginning of our program this means that our variable has already been given a certain value and it will remember that throughout the program unless we the programmer ask the user to change it or we tell it to change so you want to go while quit equals zero do repeat and then in this you want begin and end so we're going to write a blank line and then we're going to write a line saying you can use whatever you want I'm just using this um, as an example and then another blank line but then we're going to go right this can be at any point in your code as long as you understand where you want it to loop and where you don't so we're going to type right would you like to quit yes equals one no equals zero and then we're going to go colon space this is just for um, good formatting and then we want to go re read line and then we're going to tell it to read the line and quit because we want to know whether the user wants to quit or not but then we're going to say down here we're going to say if quit equals one then we're going to set the variable quit to 1 which will set change this value here from 0 to 1 if you don't understand this at any point please feel free to comment or contact us and I will be sure to get back to you um, now in the until part you want to put until quit equals 1 so basically what we're saying is until 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 quit equals one this this loop here will keep running continuously until the user tells us that they want to quit so if I go ahead and run that program whilst debugging um, for a quick hint F9 is the shortcut to debug and run at the same time okay so we've got here hello YouTube users would you like to quit we're gonna go no Hello YouTube users, would you like to quit? Yes, no, no. Hello YouTube users, would you like to quit? We're going to say yes. This can also be done with strings. We're going to say string. And maximum we want it to be is three letters. So we're going to say quit equals zero. And then we're going to say if quit equals yes then quit equals one so watch how this works now so I can oh sorry oh silly me Until quit, and then we want quit equals yes. That should work. Oh, so what am I doing wrong? Ah, I see. Well, quit equals no. 
that's the tricky thing about changing things later you have to remember so yes actually we're saying no no and then yes what I recommend is while you're doing this you add um, different uh, if you're going to use strings you have to remember to add ors depending on how people type 